Hi, Grimeka. Uh, okay, let's get this out of the way here. Now, here's your ad. Uh, very strong compositionally, this ad. Very strong. Um, let me get to this keeps popping up. Okay, so let's get started. Now, this is very, uh, the, bed, the negative space is very simple. It's horizontal wooden planks. The bed holds the center compositionally. Um, now, this takes advantage of the fact that the human eye tends to scan an image uh, from upper left to lower right. So the eye goes this way, and then this way, and then this way. So um, first we see her stuff scattered on the floor. You know. Then we see her sleeping. And then we come over here and finally the message is concluded with uh, the name of the company. And we have to presume that they're selling the bed, or maybe the mattress, or maybe the quilt. That's not totally clear. So here's where uh, the medium falls a little short without its caption. Because photography is less of a narrative medium than it is a symbolic medium. or like the It's good for detail, and the detail infers stuff. So here we can only infer that this is about the bed, or the mattress, or the quilt, or it could, it could even be the concept of getting your rest. It could be a public service announcement. So this right here is what gives you a clue of what's going on. The the uh, logo at the bottom right. Um, okay, so this is uh, the message is conveyed here through composition and the woman's position and her expression. Now here we have an image by Gordon Parks, and since he photographed during the time of the FSA, this is. A, an experiential vignette. It's a vignette from the life of uh, certain African Americans during the time of the Depression. Now here the baby is crying, okay? Uh, I'm not so sure what else plays of such a huge role. The mother's expression is kind of neutral. She might even be posing. But look at the, uh, compositionally this is very strong. There's a woman in the mirror here sitting from the, so she's sitting from the camera view looking at this scene which adds an element of interest. The curve of the mirror on the dresser adds a compositional element, the gracefulness of the curve. There's a shape here holding the center. This door um, doorway, the side of the door jam, the molding, holds the almost the exact center of the photograph. Uh, compositionally, it's very interesting. We have a shape here, the shape of the doorway, the table, the gracefulness of the mirror, the line of the mirror. We have a family photo on the dresser, on the, on the bureau. Uh, so compositionally, the composition here is very strong, just like the ad. Uh, what's added is more of the human element. This is an experiential uh, photograph. It's a vignette from experience. This image, you presented a cropped version of it, a very cropped version. This photograph is titled Migrant Mother by Dorothea Lang, taken, I, I believe, around 1936. And uh, this is an image of, this is a picture of uh, Florence Owens Thompson, a portrait done in a pea pickers camp in Napomo, California. Now the caption reads in several ways, the, and actually the way this portrait was built, uh, she had uh, Dorothea Lang had taken several portraits. Uh, the strength of this portrait lies in the proximity of the photographer to the subject, the gesture, the way she's holding her chin, and the expression on her face. This is the powerful element right in the center here. The children's faces are hidden. Now, is this posed, or are the, or are the children just shy? Children are, children are naturally shy. Uh, the little baby here. Mother, mother and child theme reverberates very strongly in imagery throughout art history and, fo and photographic history. Now, why did this become the iconic image? Well, you know, we can explore some of the other pictures that Dorothea Lang took to get, to get an idea why. For example, here's another picture that uh, Dorothea Lang took. And here there's a wedding ring. Look at that. That's interesting. So uh, there's a father somewhere. And I think the caption for one of these uh, negatives reads that the father is a native Californian. Okay, there's no there's no uh, left hand visible here. It's kind of hidden by the the um, stake here that's holding up the tent. So here is an, here's another version of this picture. Here's another version of this picture, which is the least posed version, it seems. But, uh, you know, this, they're all still looking at the camera. Um, and there's an old, an even older child in the picture here now. And then there's this one where she's actually breastfeeding. And uh, this is interesting, an interesting picture. Why didn't this one not get picked? 
uh, it's the, it's the most stunning picture. I mean, even though breastfeeding did seem to have the stigma back in those days that it does have now, um, but the mother's ex expression here is different from uh, the one that became the icon. Uh, here it's like weary resignation. Uh, she's feeding her baby, but it's not the expression, the worried expression, in the iconic picture. So. Uh, the making of a portrait all depends on what the photographer chooses to include. It's very interesting. I mean, it, just the shift of the frame, the, you know, the expression on the uh, subject's face, uh, the different the pose that the subject takes, it all plays a role. It's very subtle. But at any rate, uh, to go back to this one, uh, this is all about gesture and facial expression. And since, since uh, the FSA pictures were taken in the context of showing how uh, sharecrop, displaced sharecroppers live, what their life is like. We pretty much know what this is about without much much captioning. Well, there are captions and there are titles, but uh, the pictures themselves are pretty much to the point with the help of a caption and title. Sometimes there are no captions, sometimes it's just a title. But the ad, this ad, because of uh, photography's symbolic power, this could go in several directions. This could be public service, it could be about the bed, it could be about the quilt. Okay, Grimeka, that's pretty much it. Talk to you next time. Take care.